It took less than 10 seconds for me to learn. Turkeys are insatiably curious. That's my camera tripod. Oh, and they tried to eat my small GoPro camera too. Like what? Shiny. Anything new, but anything shiny, they just love. Turkeys may be a favorite food choice for us humans, but remember that old saying, you are what you eat? So how do you feel when you hear that organic turkey found a Mylar happy birthday balloon to chew on instead of bugs in its healthy feed? Last Saturday, you know, driving by the farm, I saw this big shiny thing in the field. And at first I thought it was a chicken, but then it wasn't moving and... And it just kind of, you know, pulls your eye. Rosie Smit is director of sustainable agriculture at Carnation Farms. This balloon makes about a half dozen. She says she's picked up this summer. Not just foul news for the fowl, but for other livestock, especially ones that eat hay. As balloons get sucked into balers, creating balloon-filled hay bales. Cattle that we have on site or, you know, other <laughs> local farmers buy it and feed it to their animals. And so... When it's in a bale, it's all compacted and you don't actually see it. U.S. Fish and Wildlife calls balloons major hazards for wildlife. Here are some of their pictures of dead birds and sea turtles strangled or killed after eating balloons. So they're really visible in the summer and we're out here every day, all day. And so it's amazing to see the, how much they want that. Yeah, balloon. they love it because it's shiny and something new. We showed the birthday balloon to the chickens who seemed less interested, but Smit hopes it piques our interest to think about how we celebrate and what we do with our waste. They buy these balloons and they don't understand the ecological impact. You know, there's a lot of other things you can do rather than buy a metallic balloon. After all, my grandma's Thanksgiving stuffing was pretty good without latex or mylar. Incarnation, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.